what is going on guys it is your boy Cecil here brings a video here today bring you guys a photoshop to create your own cool like we're gonna go with light leaks text effects slash banner design tour here today something like that most likely so if you guys remember my simplistic uh stylish abstract banner design if you guys remember that like little cool like white scheme with like color and whatnot yeah so basically i went ahead and did like the opposite i was kind of thinking what would happen if i made the background black and i sort of made it so that it was sort of i guess in a way uh like light leaking in a way so at first i was really just focusing on like the background or the header design itself but then all of a sudden i was like really working hard on the text effect and trying to make that look as cool as possible so I think I ended up doing that pretty gosh darn cool and I think it came out pretty gosh darn well and hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today so as always guys do not forget 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below and if you guys are not subscribed to me you guys should really subscribe to me turn on the notifications honestly because I've been going live quite a lot we've been getting like 80 plus slash, uh, slash 100 plus viewers all the time it's really freaking fun in there it's really awesome good vibes you guys going to chill out you guys should definitely go ahead and chill out but yeah it was overall really really fun I think the one way to make this even better is to use two tones of color as I like to say but I think it can up pretty well and just made it it just still looked pretty accurate to how i wanted it to look like and i think it's really cool so hope you guys do enjoy the video here today and as always guys talk to you guys later to switch you out peace all right guys so let's go ahead and get this thing going so basically the first thing i have to do is the whole text part now for my little text i basically would say i'm not going to do this over in like the tutorial thing because like this is very 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 incredibly simple and like if you're even terrible at the pen tool this will work even better for you because you can definitely do this freehand but however in my example i did use a little cracked um sort of like little image i just typed in like cracked uh like cracked ground stock or something like that i found this little stock and i was like seeing the letters like the l i saw like when i rotated it over here you can see like an a right here right so you can use a stock if you wish to and sort of like pen tool out little cracks but you can also do it very easily with a free hand like even though that you don't you have like some sort of crack sensation here all you're really doing is sort of like making really awkward like jagged lines that just like are just super like ruptured and like just have that vibe of just you know inconsistency right and that's kind of like the, the the life of a pen tooler who just started but like right here that's like pretty much it right yeah i can do it i can go into more little details and try to fix around a little bit more if you guys want to if you want to learn how to open up your path once you close it hold control click on the path click on a point and then you can move it freely just like so right so it's not too difficult not at all and i promise you guys you can do that freehand so that's why i'm gonna not even i'm gonna skip the whole text part because that's super boring you guys want to learn how to actually do the effect who knows maybe you guys even have a cool font to actually work with this anyway all right cool so the first thing you have to learn how to do or excuse me know how to do or excuse me figure out what all right you, all right first things first you want to make sure you do i'm sick as hell by the way that's probably why anyway um we're gonna go and give you guys the hex code for the background i'm using in today's video the hex code is 0a 0a 0c it's something like a nice little black you definitely want to use something that's definitely some very 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 dark in my opinion right also we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna merge this together because our text also i just left it white so you guys can see the whole little text part but i left it white just so like so you can see the text part i'm gonna make this black though as well the same as like black as the background press okay i'm gonna rash this as well that way any layers that i put on it do not get interrupted but i am going to give you guys the layer styles that i had exactly in my in, uh my sort of like my first part right in my example all right cool so the layers that i had were first stroke inner shadow uh inner glow and sand right so for my stroke i had one size uh, i had blend mode on overlay opacity at 100 percent inner shadow was on multiply opacity at 100 percent uh distance at eight choke at zero size at seven and then my inner glow is actually where my color actually ends up coming from and actually when i think about it this might look super 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 dope and cool without even like the whole color on the inside because my next step after this is making a clean mask layer with a brush and like kind of like putting some blue around it this might look even cool like right now what that looks like is super cool like in my opinion it looks very cool and indented with like a nice little black and who the hell knows maybe i guys gave you guys like an example how to like make it look different than my exam uh than my actual tutorial and you know i'm just saying I, I gave you guys a nice little style right there um so yeah on the inner glow that's where you put your color if you guys choose to the blue that i'm using is hex code f uh excuse me 4 f c c f b press ok and blend modes are normal opacity at 100 choke at zero my size is at 10 and then pretty much the last but not least is the satin which is at opacity 55 blend mode multiply distance at 30 and let's put it on 45 to make it very simple for you guys and press okay so that is the simple little layer style that i had on this very easy honestly and we're gonna end up doing right now is like i said before make a new layer clipping mask this layer right to that so if you guys don't know what know what clip mask does it basically puts anything that's on this layer only on this layer that's below it right very very simple so I'm gonna go ahead and just hold alt. I'm gonna move around my mouse so I can find that nice little blue. 
on the inside here that'll probably get the same exact glue as last time and we're gonna do is use a nice soft brush and just click a couple times on the inside just like this right almost like fill it in just a little bit but not too much so that way because you know we have color going all the way around the actual crack itself however if you just put it in different little you know other spots you might get a little more depth you might get a little more just like not so controlled with the lighting and it looks a lot more loose and a lot more like jagged with the whole theme being you know light going through cracks the crack leaks right so once you have this ready and set we're gonna go ahead and just group these two uh we're gonna also before i do that we're gonna call this glow inside because you guys did not know what two links on the video because they see it down below i like to name these guys uh name these little layers for you guys because most likely the psd is going to be the secret download so i'm gonna control click on these two things group them together we're gonna call this text again and I'm going to go ahead and just press control J, which is going to make a copy of this text right here, right? So the reason I'm going to make a copy is because this is going to be blurred off. Now, before you make a copy and blur it off, you want to make sure you turn off the stroke here for this copied version. So put that stroke, turn it off. And once you turn it off, you have this right here and you're no longer stroked out. So one has a stroke, one does not. So the one that does not have a stroke, you want to go ahead and merge that together. And you want to call this blur because that's what we're going to be doing to this layer right here. So on this blur layer, you want to, of course, go to filter blur radio blur and the amount you want to put it all the way to 100 percent take your blur method and put it on zoom and take your quality and put it on best and once you press okay this is how i get the really cool like light is dispersing out of the text and look right here like look at that does that not look super cool i think it looks really cool in my opinion right and i'm kind of curious now to what it would look like without the inner glow i mean dudes i think you can make that work what if you didn't have that either Eh, you kind of lose it all right whatever i mean you guys probably figured out something really cool to do anyway we're gonna make another copy of this blur uh the reason why is because once you see right if i uncheck and check this again you'll see the opacity is of course getting like you know on top of each other like let's pretend this layer here right alone is like 10 percent opacity once you duplicate it again the same exact thing you're gonna get 20 percent opacity 30 percent opacity 40 percent opacity and so on and so on uh so on and so on right you guys understand that so on this blurred version copy two we're just going to kind of make a, like a, like a couple little spots a little more like vivid a little more vibrant right so we're going to take our eraser if you guys want to you can use the mask tool or the masking selection the layer mask excuse me right here which is using your black brush to erase very simply right you can see that's that's going to erase and if i use the white it'll then fill it back in so right you can see it as well let's just make sure it doesn't really matter all right so the black right here is how you erase so i'm going to zoom in a little bit I'm going to go into certain spots and just sort of just erase a little bit to give myself a little more light, like right there. Maybe like give myself light right there and then like right here. Very simple, right? Very, very simple. So once I see this, you see like little lights are just in like more intense in other places, which kind of like how light works, right? It travels, of course, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make another duplicate of this blur, the original itself. And on this original copy, I'm going to call this number three. I'm not going to use a selective mask for this because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to normal. I'm going to use linear dodge add, which is going to basically be a little more intense with the whole like opacity thing and such. But this is just going to be like in a different, uh, in different light, I guess you would say, right? Take your eraser. All right. Please let me press E on my keyboard. Thanks. All right. There's a key stuck. What's going on? Okay. All right. We're good. I don't know what key it was, but it was like awkward. All right. So on this eraser. We're just gonna erase a couple times once again very just odd in different spots if you want to like kind of like you know just be kind of loose with it right so they're gonna have this right it looks a lot cooler once you put this little effort just a little bit more depth in there it looks pretty cool in my opinion right so once you have this you're pretty much all set to go on that aspect before we go though i'm gonna go ahead and just make or before we go as in before we merge this together or group this together we're gonna make one more layer we're gonna take our brush we're gonna select a blue that's like hold all and just like select a nice little blue that's not so like vibrant maybe like a nice dullish kind of blue and then just click around maybe like let's be like a little more generous right like maybe like three hits just like so i'm gonna throw this on linear dodge add and we're gonna go ahead and lower those opacity down just a little bit and then we're gonna have a nice little kind of like leak going through right so nice little lighting effect right there and then now of course this looks a lot better when you put on your brightest and contrast but i might tell this video like leak light effect uh slash bender design i don't know what i want to do because it's kind of like almost a really good focus on the text effect itself um but at the same time it's also a header design kind of effect right but this is kind of like the whole part where it looks really cool with the text uh the text effect itself but of course you're gonna have, have to add like a brightness and contrast but before i do all this stuff right you can look how cool look how cool it looks honestly really cool before i do that though i want to focus on more the header part of this kind of tutorial so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and make a new layer before i do that i'm gonna group this all together and call this text 
effect, right? And we're gonna go ahead and make sure we call this blue hit because I'm super cool. And when you guys get the PSD, you guys will know what everything is. And I'm such an amazing person, right? Like, oh my God. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer now. And on this new layer here, we are gonna go ahead and make a little cracks that were on this one right here, like right here. Like these little cracks here, we're gonna make these. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how to make that little cool effect. It's very, very simple. It's like, a, it's literally a filter. Um, So we're gonna just make some little cracks, right? We're just gonna make it look pretty cool and like just awkward and weird. That looks like a crack, right? So I'm gonna do something like this, right? This is our initial crack. This is where the light's gonna be leaking towards this way, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around just like so and kind of pen tool just like that, right? We're gonna bring this up just a little bit so I can get a direction right there. So on this new layer, I'm gonna right click, make selection, press okay. If you guys do not know what make selection is, it's basically like a selection where you can only paint or do whatever you're doing inside that layer or inside this little path itself. So my eraser or my brush, excuse me, it, I can only paint inside here. That's how it works, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a soft brush zero hardness and we're gonna just like kind of like go in from the far outside skirts and just kind of like fill it in very very loosely just like that and control d to deselect and now we're gonna take our eraser and make sure we just make these edges very soft and not so hard edged hard edged there we go right something like that all right cool now right here we're gonna call this we're just gonna call this like crack light that can be weird. Um, we're gonna hold Alt and drag it just like so. Now I'm gonna drag it in different little spots here. If you want to, you can erase a little bit so it's a little bit different. Kind of like having an angle like that maybe. We'll have one down here at a different angle as well. So using different angles kind of make it look like it's not the same exact thing, but in all aspect it is, right? We'll take another duplicate of this one, drag it over here. And we'll erase like this side over here. Hold on, let's say like right there is good. Erase that like that. I feel like this space is empty down here, so I'll fill that in right here as well. Very simple stuff. Now, if you want to, you can add different cracks in different spots if you wish. However, I'm not really following like some sort of like light, you know, source kind of thing. Well, I mean, if you were to do that, it'd probably look way cooler, but I'm just sort of trying to add like a nice little atmosphere to it, and this is the way that I ended up doing it. So once I have these little crack lights here, <laughs> low. All right, so I'm gonna group these together, right? All these little layers together. I'm gonna press Control J to duplicate them and then Control E to merge them all together. So you're gonna have two of the same groups, right? Just like so. On this duplicated version, we're gonna call this crack light, dude, that's gonna be so bad. Blur, we're gonna go to filter, we're gonna go to blur, and we're gonna go to radial blur once again. But besides using 100% opacity or 100% like period, we're gonna be using 35% uh, amount and pressing okay and then you're gonna find yourself like a nice little, like basically the same thing that happens here is gonna happen right here. Very cool, right? Let's go ahead and finish that. There we go. Just kind of get that nice little sort of, just a little bit of that blur. Now what's gonna happen here now is I'm gonna call this crack light. I gotta make sure I label it for you guys. And we're gonna do this, group this all together. Let's call this light. There we go. And I'm gonna make another duplicate, control J, just like so, right? So we now we have both the things, two of the things in here. What I'm gonna end up doing is, like I'm gonna put it in the middle like so, Right, just duplicate it again. We're gonna fill a little bit of these little empty spaces here with these copies. I'm gonna dra drag this below. When you have these three copies here, merge them together. So you're gonna have this entire little thing. Let's just hide everything else. You can just see like this. You just wanna fill all the spaces you don't have that's kind of filled, right? In this little like light area here. So with this here, we're gonna call this backing because what's gonna happen here is with this little backing layer here, we're gonna go to filter, blur, motion blur, and just motion blur this out just like so, press okay. Drag this below the text effect as well. And also maybe like, not have it be so, there we go. There we go, so you can see a nice loose amount of light just like so, makes the backing look way cooler. Pops out, it kind of like flows really nicely with the entire little text effect in the middle here. And what's gonna happen here now is I can add maybe a couple lights with this brush hit, right? A couple lights like on the outsides of the banner design. I could probably even add one inside here. And we'll just add a nice linear dodge add, lower the opacity down. And now is where I'm gonna end up using these little uh, brightness and contrasts, right? So I'm gonna give you guys the exact same brightness and contrast settings I had before, which was four brightness, 54 contrast for the first one. And I actually added a second one, which is ending up gonna be, where is it? 14 and then 78, just like so. The same exact ones I use. And as you can see, it gets really nice and dark, very, very cool. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead back in, you can add more lights in different areas. Like if you were to add a light here, put on linear dodge add by the way, you'll see how it just looks really cool, really intensifies. It just looks really good, honestly. Uh, 
We'll just do something like that. Fill in these little black areas, maybe. Maybe, like, just leave it like so, right? I don't know. You can mess around with lighting for, like, literally decades. Let's go back below that, though. And we'll say, like... That looks pretty okay. We'll just go with that for now, right? So what's gonna happen here is I ended up adding a little more stuff, right? What I ended up was with a filter. Well, let's put this as light as well and light as well. I ended up adding like a little filter to it. Now, when you add the filter, make sure you select them the first layer all the way at the top. Also holding shift, clicking on the uh, layer all the way on the bottom. All the way on, what the hell I say? Like all the way on the bottom? <laughs> All the way on the bottom, your background layer right here, control E, or excuse me, control J, control E, which is going to duplicate and merge all together. We're going to call this filter. And we're going to go to filter, filter gallery, and the filter that I used to make that really cool little effect was called dry brush. As you can see right here, it makes it look really cool. Almost looks, it makes it look like it's almost illustrated, right? Which I thought was really cool. And we're going to go ahead and take our eraser. We're going to use the select mask here. Take our black brush, not the eraser this time. And sort of just erase very loosely just enough so you can see the letters make it look really cool like that part looks super cool right here so it's not erase too much of that and then just something like that and also the little stocks here as well will also look really cool as well so i mean it looks really cool in my opinion right just that's all i'm going to be keeping saying is like really cool but i also did add a little bit of other things which was that little like aurora effect thing so if you guys want to learn how to do that really quickly I made a new layer you're gonna have to use rulers for this. So if you don't have them, press Control R. You see on the top left, uh, or excuse me, on the left hand side and on the top, you see two different rulers, which basically means two different axes. So I'm gonna take this axis right here, click, drag it over, and wherever you think is the middle, you'll basically find it by you just like slowly move your mouse around. You'll feel like a little snap. You also see the snap right here. That is the middle. You do the same exact thing for the horizontal line, and you're pretty much ready to go. You'll find out where that point is right in the middle by looking right here. So I'm gonna use the ellipse marquee tool here. We're gonna hold Alt and Shift. Alt basically keeps in the same exact orientation no matter where you move. And then Shift makes a perfect circle. So I'm gonna take this, let go. And on this new layer here, the same exact thing we did over here, remember that? We're gonna do the same exact thing again. So take your brush and just loosely go around just like so. Oop, just like so. Control D to deselect. And there we guys, there we go, right? So of course the hues of the blues are a little bit different. If I wanna drag this below here, I can not because this filter is here so maybe i'll do this filter after i do that but uh yeah we'll do that after we do that then um it really doesn't matter because what's going to happen here is what i can end up doing is using control u and then moving the hue just like so to kind of find the same exact blue right there we go that's kind of like a little bit more similar anyway what i ended up doing was holding alt holding shift moving it over so the first one was a pretty big little gap here or a big little gap it was a pretty big gap let's put a little more the second uh, copy, which is, of course, this first copy is like that, like this spacing here. The second copy is going to be a little less, and the third copy is going to be even less, sir. So you're going to have something like this, right? I'm going to merge this all together. You're going to have this really cool, like, little stroke thing here. What you're going to end up doing is using your eraser, or if you want to use the select mask, you can. I'm just going to use eraser, and then just erase the bottom half on the left-hand side and the top half on the right-hand side, and you got something like this going here. Which I thought this looks pretty freaking cool in my opinion, because when you actually duplicate it, like holding Alt and Shift, moving it over like so, having one over here, not in front of the text though, so erase that if you guys wish to, holding Alt and Shift and moving it over here as well, you kind of have this really cool like, I don't know, it just it just looks cool. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say is it looks pretty freaking cool. And then once you kind of have this going, you can merge it all together if you wish to again. If you want to find like another secondary color to use, this is probably a good place to use it at, but I'll leave it as is for now. And I'll just erase that a little more, a little more over there, right? It wants to be nice and subtle. So what's going to happen here now is I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this again. So this is the first blue copy. Uh, I know it's when I know it's an eye there, whatever. And one is going to be black. So on one copy is going to be blue. And then what you're going to do is going to press Control U on the black copy, lower the lightness all the way down to negative 100, and you have a nice little black going here as well. You'll see it like leaking through. You erase it just a little bit. It just adds a little more tone, a little more contrast. And of course, the last one we're gonna end up adding is brightness and contrast. Now, I'm gonna go with like, let's go with something like this almost, right? There we go. I'll say negative 300 for the brightness and 55 for the contrast is pretty good. Now, at this moment in time, you can add as many lights, little fixtures as you guys wish to. But basically, this is it, honestly. If I want to also, I'll add that filter in again. Filter gallery, dry brush, press OK. 
boom i can erase all of the text that i want to mess around with that but as you see the outside looks pretty freaking cool as well now but yeah that's pretty much the whole entire part of the whole test effect, like the whole thing about the text effect and also trying to make a nice little simple header with it as well but of course the more time you take on it the more cool the backing is like honestly once you guys get the psd you guys get all that cool stuff however the really cool part is the text and i like that a lot i think it's really really cool it's a fun little experiment to do and i'm gonna go ahead and just try to fix around with the lighting effect just a little bit so it's not so awkward right linear dodge add you know there we go and if you guys want to add secondary color like i said well you can do it the same thing with the lights but we're pretty much done i want to stop using i want to stop messing with it if i want to add maybe a, maybe a curve hold on we'll add one of those curves in there and we'll take it and race around where it's just too dark there we go so once sort of figure it out and could like figure out like where you want your little cracks where you want your background to be and also the text effect itself looks really good on its own i want to see someone at least do something with the text effect on its own however i'm pretty much done for today my voice is killing me my throat is killing me i am sick i am like literally like on the brink i'm gonna literally go to sleep and then i have to edit the video in the morning but uh anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today of course do not forget two likes on the video equals a secret download below which will mostly be the psd of this video as you guys already know and uh with that being said hope you guys do enjoy comment down any new tutorial that you guys want to see me do uh make sure you guys like put on the like the little that little bell icon thing turn on the notifications because i do live stream i do a live stream like a lot now at least i'm doing a lot more consistently a lot more like times a day um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, maybe you guys want to sneak by and, you know, pass by a little like and comment over there, you know, chill out for a little bit. Also, thank you guys so very much for watching. Talk to you guys later. Cisco HQ out. Peace. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later.